The push for hybrid and electric cars around the world does well to reduce carbon emissions and dependency on oil, but there's still the question of traffic congestion. The solution to both, however, may lie with a new prototype designed by Segway and General Motors. The two-wheeled Puma vehicle, which stands for Personal Urban Mobility and Accessibility, is built upon the success of Segway's first-generation PT, or Personal Transporter. The major difference between the PT and Puma is that it looks like a battery-powered rickshaw that can seat two people. Both utilize dynamic stabilization and have a true zero turning radius, which gives it incredible maneuverability. It goes anywhere from 40 to 56 km per hour on a single charge, and based on current rates in the US, a full charge of up to 8 hours would only cost you 60 cents. The collaboration with General Motors came to a surprise to some. After all, GM is known for its gas-guzzling sports utility vehicles, such as the ubiquitous Hummer. But the company has jumped on the electric car bandwagon in recent years, as shown by its much-anticipated Chevy Volt, slated for 2010. If it really does what we think it can do, one-third to one-fourth the cost, total cost per mile, and um, to be able to do that with zero emissions and renewable sources of energy, I think it could tip and it could move pretty fast, given the urgency of the issues we're trying to solve, dependence on oil, global climate change. We could go put this in production uh, as soon as we decide, uh, General Motors and Segways decide to move this forward. Uh, the technology is all here now. Both companies remain tight-lipped as to when the Puma will be released or how much it would cost. However, it's sure to be more expensive than Segway's basic personal transporter, which costs up to $7,500. There will also be the problem of usage restrictions. Currently, the PT faces different rules around the world. In Hong Kong, the PT is completely banned from roads and public areas. That is why Segway and GM envision a day where cities will have specific infrastructure to cater for Pumas. We're looking for uh, some city or town that may uh, want to commit to this type of an approach for urban transportation. We have some in mind. In fact, some are outside the United States. Uh, there are countries and cities around the world that are really committed to electric, green, uh, green clean transportation solutions. Uh, areas in Paris, areas in Singapore, certainly London. In the United States, there are some great cities that we have uh, looked at as well. So we're looking for cooperation and partnerships in some cities around the world to do this. Part of the technology being developed now is letting several Pumas communicate to each other via wireless signals, essentially allowing them to drive themselves. This, they believe, will revolutionize the daily urban commute. We feel that this is a better way for people to move around. It's going to be cheaper, it's going to be faster, it's going to be safer, it's going to be cleaner, it's going to be an easier ride. Imagine driving to work or being driven to work by this vehicle, almost like being in a taxi but without the taxi driver, and it taking you to where you need to go, and then you get out, go to work, and the vehicle goes and parks itself. And then when you finish your meeting or finish for the day, you call the vehicle, it comes to pick you up. Almost like a ballet, ballet parking service, but without the ballet. For the South China Morning Post, this is Edwin Lee.